两人，做阵抓着一支小雨伞。The robot will call PC to return a shortest path to,、uh, between the current position and the end position. After receiving the path, the robot will just turn to the direction of the next point in the path. It will not go to the next point directly. Instead, it will move 10 cm forward only. After the movement, the robot will just sense the areas in the front. If there are obstacles, it will call PC to update the map and also return a new path. How finder views the entire map as a graph? With nodes and edges, at any node there are four neighboring nodes which the robot could move to. Pathfinder will calculate the cost of moving to its neighboring nodes, returning the optimal path. At the start of the exploration phase, Pathfinder will regard the entire map as unexplored areas, and we assume that the robot is able to move freely in these areas. At the end of the exploration phase, when the our robot reaches the end point. 
Pathfinder will calculate the optimal path back to the starting point. But this time, Pathfinder will not allow the robot to move in unexplored areas in order to avoid meeting unexplored obstacles. So what do you have to say about the robot? Easy. This robot is dumb and is still in the So that's why you only need two sensors. One here and one here. So this will be simple. And as you know, dumb people like things simple. So as long as we have two sensors, it will be less complicated. And also for our rest of the we only use single digits to represent patients. So things will be simple, short and sweet in the way we like it. I've done what you promised. Now let her go! Not quite yet.